What's going on YouTube? Today we have packages. Okay? We have packages from eBay and actually they're not from eBay. I don't know why this is taped with eBay tape. But they're from Mercari, which is a selling app. And <clears throat> I ordered Pokemon cards. I don't think this is Pokemon cards. I think I'll actually open this right now because I think this is um, top loaders. Let's hope. I then just cut a bunch of Pokemon cards. Yeah, okay. So this is just a bunch of packs of top loaders. Which. Who knows? We may need them in this video. So let's open them up, right? Alright, so we got those. We got these. Um, I guess we'll just get into this. This one's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go with this one first. Now, I'm not sure what's in these. Oh, boy. Okay, a littler one. A pen, Jab Games, Instagram Jab Games, uh, Jab Games Incorporated Gmail. Find us on Mercari and eBay. All right, so this is Jab Games. That's nice of them. This is like super well done too. Thank you, Jab Games. Give you a little card with a little guy on the back. How cute. How freaking adorable. Since this is a bigger one, this is a smaller one. We'll go with the bigger one first. Just because I think if there's bad cards, they'll probably be in here. Am I right? And if there's good cards, they'll be in the other one. This uh, little napkin packaging is very creative. Like they didn't put any sleeves, but they I don't think they really needed it with how they do this. All right, so let's get in to some Pokemon cards. Right off the bat, we have the Vintage Butterfree. Okay, Jigglypuff, Paris, Bellsprout, Lickitung. Look at these old arts, guys. Eevee, Nidoran. Sorry, I just got to figure a spot to put these. This is a blast from the past. Oddish, the cards are in. Really good shape, too. I don't know if you can really tell, but a little bit of whiting. But for the most part, they're really good. That jungle Pikachu, such a classic. Rhyhorn, oh. Sparrow, Venonat, Meowth, Arbok, Grimer, Mysterious Fossil. The Fossil Magmar, who's a badass. That's a badass card. Geodude. Shelder. Krabby. Is it the, how sick would it be if we got the air card? How many of those are there? Does anybody know that? If you know, leave it in the comments. And I'll give you one of the good cards. Uh, Kabuto. Zubat. Atkins. Tenta Cool, Horsey, Team Rocket Psyduck, uh, or Rocket Drowsy, not Team Rocket, Meowth, that's a good card, that's a cool looking card, Coughing, Oddish, Pikachu, oh, so we got some base set now, Sandro, Tangela, Coughing, oh, shit. 
I hope we're still recording. We are. Voltorb, <coughs> Pidgey, Pokefloop, Bill, Kakuna, Caterpie, Metapod, Rattata, Nidoran, Star you or Star Me, Star You, Volpix, Poliwag, Magnemite, another Tangela, Ponyta. I like that card. I don't know why I like that card so much, but that's one of my favorites from like the old classic cards. Kadabra. Growlithe. I like that card too a lot. I like the background. Doduo. That's a cool looking card too. Uh, Pidgey. Pretty similar. <laughs> Look at Pidgey and Growlithe's background. You guys think they were coming up short? <laughs> Remember, this is the first set, so there's only 100 cards. They couldn't come up with a better background for... I mean, they're cool backgrounds, but you get what I'm saying. Or like this card. The Diglett base set card. I hate it. It looks like it's from an old, crappy video game. Charmander. Cool card. Abra. War Turtle. Seal. Dratini. Charmeleon. Machop. <clears throat> uh, energy retrieval, a Weedle, and a Switch. So, I mean, you gotta stack that much of, of the older cards. Um, that's pretty cool. See what we have in here. Then I'll tell you how much it was and if I think it's worth it. Those old artworks, man. The Wizards of the Coast really, they really had their artworks down, didn't they? All right, okay. So, now we'll just go from the top. We got a Hollow Nitto King, a Hollow Mewtwo. Is that a hollow? No, but a Neo Ente Rare, a Jungle Set Pincer, Electrode, Dark Amasar, who is actually a rare. That's a rare. Kabutops, Electabuzz. Team Rocket Sneak Attack, Raichu, Super Energy Removal, a Poliworld Neo, not a rare, but a first edition, first edition Dark Rapidash, first edition Pineco, first edition Puppetar, and first edition Fossil Set Recycle. Oh, sorry, unknown. We got a first edition unknown too. Um, so. This cost me, I think, 25 bucks. I'd say, I, I was actually ready to not like this. So, honestly, overall, I think this is definitely worth it. 
I mean, their packaging is nice. Like it was quick. The cards. Let me check the hollows actually. So it's not like it's not perfect condition, but it's not bad. The centering is good. They didn't give you like junk centered cards or anything like that. And the like no energies, n not many doubles if any. There's a couple I think in the old or in the the stack. But um, yeah, I definitely I would definitely open something from them again. What was it again? Jab James. Instagram at Jeb James. Jeb Games. My bad. A, you got a tongue twister for a name. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, I would definitely, definitely do that again. Now these, <clears throat> this is kind of just some random stuff. I saw unopened Pokemon, and I bet... Alright, so, let's see what we have. We have two papers in here. Okay, this is from the post office. Is this two? Okay, there's like a bunch of things in here from the post office, and I don't appreciate it. <clears throat> now, let's check this out. Okay, so we got two top loaders. Might need them. Who knows? We have Okay, so we have a Korean Shining Legends pack, I believe this is. A Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. A Series 8 pack. And a Neo card. We'll open all of these. Okay. Um, we'll go with this one first. Just because we'll go newest to oldest. Now, these two, I'm not sure. I, I want to say Guardians Rising, probably. Yeah. So, this is the order we'll go in. We'll see what our Neo card is, too, for for shits and gigs. <clears throat> now this art is like super cool, so I'm gonna try to open it nicely. I don't think it's gonna happen, so we're gonna give it a little snap. Just a little snip snip, and this pack is done. Okay, this pack is completely destroyed. Hey guys, make your packs easier to open. Um, okay, so this is how we'll do this. We're just going to go, okay? Oh, the cards are, like, sticky. What's going on here? Oh, my God, I don't even know what the rares are. I don't know if you could see this, but do you see those marks? I don't know. There's not a star on the bottom. I thought stars were pretty universal. I'm not, I don't even know the names of these cards. I want to say this is a rare. But I, again, I have no idea. Okay, it doesn't look like we got anything in here. Oh, that's our rare. Just because it's Korean, we'll sleeve it up. I'm not going to put it in a binder. But, you know, whatever. We'll give it a sleeve, give it a hard case, and we'll call it a day. Now to our Sun and Moon Guardian Rising. It was just a Dollar Tree pack, I think. Yeah open like a Dollar Tree pack. These codes, oh it just comes with like a card list. 
dumb. If you get something, it's going to be in the middle. So we'll put that in the front. Boom, boom, and nothing. And this is how these go sometimes. The Series 8 pack. What is this one? Two promo cards and one energy card. What's the best way to open these? From the bottom. Now, <clears throat> those other cards I bought, like I said, I paid, I think, 25 bucks. These ones, um, I think these are $20. You know? So we have an energy. We have... Happening, and we have a Krogunk. Nothing. You know, that happens. Now, our Neo card. I don't know. Find the hidden messages. I don't know. If it's like an unknown, I'm going to be pissed. If it's that one. What is it? Like the Entei? I don't even know if I say that right, but <clears throat> I think that's probably what it is, because that's like what they all are, and yeah, this card, I'm not mad at that, that's a cool card, look how shiny that thing is, is that the first, uh, is this like one of the first reverse hollows, it's a badass card though, so whatever. Would I buy these packs again? No. I bought them because... I don't know. I thought it would be fun to open up. It wasn't... As fun as I was hoping though. Um, but... But again... These ones... Definitely worth it. Definitely go check those guys out. Jab Games. These ones, eh. But, especially, be careful if you're ever buying the three card packs. Because people could easily buy a bunch of them, weigh them, open the good ones, and then just toss the other ones. I was going to actually grab it, but I forgot to. Yesterday I opened some Dollar Tree, um, I don't know, I bought like 10 packs, but I weighed them. While I was there, I went into the corner like a little rat, weighed the packs. I got the Rainbow Rare Blaziken GX. So, that's people could be doing that with these packs too. And they open so nicely that you could just reseal them back up. Rats. But, um, yeah. If you guys, <clears throat> I have a bunch of these. So if you guys want this card, like it, subscribe, comment what your favorite card that we got was, and um, I'll pick somebody, ship it to you for free, you know, yeah, and it lets me know if you guys want me to keep making these videos, but yeah, I'll give this one out if you're still here. Thank you. Like it. Subscribe. You know the deal. Till next time. Peace.